are you all doing today? I'm Michelle the Introvert and it is a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. I'm going to go for a walk, walk down Water Street. Did you guys want to come along with me? Come on along, there's a lot to see and it should be fun. Just across the road there, you see Sealed Lander's old gristmill stone. That is from the 1700s, so there's a little bit of history there. And I do have a vlog on that under Yarmouth Hidden Treasures, which I shall post at the end of this vlog. You see there in the forefront, that's Water Street. And this is what it looks like when I look down. It's quite a view, really. Very pretty. And the water is glistening as the sun shines on it. But now let's head towards Water Street. And at the end of this road, I don't know if you can see, up ahead there, is the old horse fountain from the 1880s. And I have a vlog on that as well. So here we go. Heading down Water Street. What we're coming up to right now here on the left is a restaurant, a local restaurant, called The Dinner Plate. A lot of people love this restaurant and come here. The service is really good, really good. And the food is great and the prices are great as well. And look at the color of the sky. Such a nice day. Today is a perfect day to go walking. Someone did a really fantastic job of this mural. Look at all the detail and the colors too. different colored paints that they use for the rocks and the water. Also the bushes and the trees too. Someone did a fantastic job. And I love trains. And look at that one. And the houses there that were painted and all the details and even the lights are on <laughs> the lights are on at that house and the clothes are on the clothesline beautiful 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 mural and it keeps going on and on. Well done, well done. What a sight to see. 
I love it. Any kind of art I love, even if it's outside. Painted, painted outside. Beautiful. I have a great appreciation for art and the talent that goes with it. And speaking of art, I feel like sometimes the sky itself is a piece of art. Just the beautiful colors, the different shades. It's like a masterpiece, really. I'm going to go up this way right here because there is a beautiful, beautiful view. It's like a nice little park area. Lots of nice places to sit and relax in the quietness. I see uh, an informa um, information plaque just ahead there, so we'll go take a look at that. This one here talks about manufacturing goods and services for the marketplace. And as you can see, there's some old pictures. Can you guys see those pictures okay? Some of them are a little faded, even on this placard. that. Look at this and that. Interesting transition, isn't it? And look at the old cars in that one. There's the old Grand Hotel there. This is down at the wharf and look at this amazing view. place for a picnic. And we'll keep going. Water Street is right there. So we're just walking parallel to that. I zoomed in a little bit because I see the sparkling waters ahead as the sun shines down. It's just sparkling. And it's beautiful. There's a couple more information plaques right here. Let's take a look. It says on this one, calamities. Misfortune, challenges, and survival. And look at this picture here. Jeez. An obvious fire. And look at this picture here. Firemen injured in Yarmouth fire, eight businesses wiped out. And that would have been very devastating because everybody worked so hard. Store and warehouse of Edward Allen, wholesale grocer on Water Street. That one here is uh, the Western Grocery Company on Main Street. Above and above right, George S. Taylor, Menswear, Main Street, Yarmouth. Huh. That's quite an interesting picture, and that one too. Some of the local businesses of the past. I like supporting local. And look at the view behind me. It's quite a view, isn't it? Coming up to this beautiful clock here. information. 
information placards, which is wonderful. This one talks about early settlement, a diverse background. And look at the old map there. Charlotte Letitia Fletcher. 1800 to 1843. There's a picture of her right there. Mary Eleanor Fletcher, 1799 to 1855. Must be her there. Why is about shipbuilding. Building a connection to the world. Look at that. Different shipyards and their locations on that map. This is construction here of some ships. Hmm, look at that. And some more pictures of of them building ships and some of the workers are in this one. Taking all in the beauty of the day. It's nice to be able to get out like this when the weather is still nice. Because, but, because, because before long, it's going to be so chilly here that it's going to be hard to go for nice long walks. But you can see how nice it is back there behind me. how blue the sky is with the wispy cloud and the sun shining down. And there's there's some birds flying way, way, way up in the sky. It's a good thing they're not afraid of heights, huh? <laughs> I love these type of sidewalks, to tell you the truth. Really nice view on Water Street here. And you can hear the seagulls. Can you see some of them up in the sky? It's a beautiful day for them to go flying, too. What a beautiful tree. I have such an appreciation for trees. Look at, look at the pine needles. Look at the color of those. Beautiful. Isn't nature wonderful? I just love nature. And 
there's more of those beautiful trees right there with the beautiful pine needles. Look at these row of trees that are along the sidewalk. I like to see the contrast of the dark branches against the blue sky and white clouds. It would make some very pretty paintings. I, I think if someone came out here with their paints and decided to paint a couple of these beautiful trees on a day like today. And we're coming up to Frost Park here pretty soon. Here on my right is the W. Lawrence Sweeney Museum. And right now it's actually closed, as you can see from the sign in the window. But when it opens up, I'd like to go in there and look around, if I can. And Water Street is pretty busy today. That's the view on my right. A lot of things there for the fishermen and their fishing boats. Well, you guys, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this vlog. This is actually just part one of my walking adventure down Water Street. And I will have a part two coming up here soon, so stay tuned. If you like this vlog, please give me the old YouTube thumbs up or press the subscribe button. That would be great, but I'll be talking to you guys very shortly. See you soon. Bye.